Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Faith and Freedom. I'm Garrett. Uh, I'm not going to start off with just a uh, regular Bible verse anymore, although I do want to get into Scripture today. I do want to get into Daniel chapter 4, verses 28 through 32, but first I want to talk about some current events, especially in the state of New York, the Empire State, my home state that I love so much. Uh, unless you've been living under a rock the last week or so, you've probably heard that Governor Cuomo has resigned his position um, due to allegations and pretty good evidence that he uh, sexually harassed some women, um, maybe even beyond that, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and the right to, the, to a fair trial. Um, that all of us Americans deserve. But he did step down, and I think that is a good thing for New Yorkers. I think that's a good thing for the church in our state because he did uh, make things difficult. Um, he was not a lover of freedom. He was a lover of power, um, and he used that power to close down businesses, um, create a huge welfare state, uh, raise our taxes, make us... a terrible climate for small businesses, um, supported expansion of abortion rights and codifying of, of abortion rights beyond what um, Roe versus Wade had. So I think it's a good thing that he's gone. And it's an interesting uh, pattern of events because he took this whole COVID thing and kind of ran with it and kind of built himself up on how he and some other people in his party thought he handled the COVID crisis and he wrote a big book and maybe used some public money to, to um, work on and, and promote that book. Uh, but he really got on his high horse, probably at the peak of COVID, but throughout his whole career, he loved himself, he loved power. And we've been studying Daniel uh, in my Bible study at church. And I couldn't help but think of this passage in Daniel chapter 4, verses 28 through 32. So I'm going to go ahead and read it out of the updated NIV. And for context on this, so this is Daniel um, after he interprets the dream he has uh, for Nebuchadnezzar. And uh, the, the interpretation of the dream was basically bad news for you, man. Bad news for Nebuchadnezzar because... Daniel said, you've built up all this stuff, you're powerful, but you're going down. And uh, at first, Nebuchadnezzar just just kind of um, blew him off to, to some extent. So this is a, a bit later from when Daniel interprets the team, dream and basically tells him he's, he's headed for a fall. So here's where we pick up in chapter 4, verse 28. All this happened to King Nebuchadnezzar. Twelve months later, as the king was walking on the roof, of the royal palace of Babylon, he said, Is not this the great Babylon I have built as the royal residence by my mighty power and for the glory of my majesty? Even as the words were on his lips, a voice came from heaven. This is what is decreed for you, King Nebuchadnezzar. Your royal authority has been taken from you. You will be driven away from people and will live with the wild animals, you will eat grass like the ox. Seven times will pass by for you until you acknowledge that the Most High is sovereign over all kingdoms on earth and gives them to anyone he wishes. Let me read that last part again. Until you acknowledge the Most High is sovereign over all kingdoms on earth and gives them to anyone he wishes. Fast forward a few thousand years or so. To mid-April of 2020, Governor Cuomo at a press conference, after we had seen a dip, a decline in the COVID numbers, and I quote from Governor Cuomo, the number is down because we brought the number down. God did not do that. Faith did not do that. Destiny did not do that. Well, God didn't act as swiftly as he did with Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, but those of us who understand the Bible and the nature of God know that God did do that. God did do this. God did everything. He is in complete control 
of the universe, and he ordains all things. Not two sparrows fall from the sky without God ordaining it. So, Andrew Cuomo, um, God did cause that dip in COVID cases, and God did cause you to resign from your position, and God will continue to do what he will with you. Um, I pray that uh, justice is served, that he will get a fair and speedy trial, and that he will get uh, what he deserves for what he is found guilty of. But ultimately, I think we need to keep in mind as Christians that throughout Scripture, God makes examples of men. God makes examples of leaders. He tears um, wicked ones down. He builds uh, just ones up. He also uses wicked leaders to punish sin. Um, and I think that's a, a really important point for us to ponder. Um, we need to do some reflection. We need to not get so caught up on, on what Andrew Cuomo did in just punishing him. Although, like I said, justice is important. Um, but we need to look at ourselves and we need to look at our souls. And no matter what, we're still called to pray for those that hate us and those that persecute us. Andrew Cuomo, I don't know if he hated Christians, but I think whether he meant to or not, he's, he's persecuted us, and he'll see justice for that, but we're called to love him and pray for him. And I also don't want to give up hope on him. Uh, if we believe God is as powerful as he is and that the grace of Christ is as good as it is, he could take Andrew Cuomo's heart and change it from a heart of stone to a heart of flesh and wash him in the blood tomorrow, if that's God's will. And I pray eventually that it is, but Andrew Cuomo first has to, um, I think, come to a, a state of repentance. He has to face justice, uh, and he needs, he needs some work from the Holy Spirit on him. So I don't give up that prayer along with the prayer for justice. And like I said, I, I don't think we want to get too caught up on punish, punish, punish versus let's reflect, reflect, reflect and look at the condition of our own souls in light of um, what's happening with this man and what's happening with our culture and our nation and the state of the body of Christ in our church. Uh, so thanks for joining me. I'll see you again on the next Faith and Freedom.